Hi class, so let's just do a little bit of a recap, meaning we're going to review a little bit of what we talked about last week. So remember, Van Gogh, all right, is all about painting with small lines. And the word we learned last week, which was impasto, which means he likes painting with texture. So let's really finish out these paintings that we're doing um, at home in your, you know, uh, houses or in, um, in person. Just let's create that texture that Van Gogh is really famous for. All right. So where we left off at, we were adding the white spots to the painting. We were highlighting the, the moon and the stars, right, with just some white around their little corners. And then uh, adding that white to the wind all right so today we're going to continue and just finish out the foreground so this is most of the background you know um right now we're just going to go ahead and add a swirl or a wave right in front of here right on the bottom of this um this corner that touches the white so we're going to use some of this uh yellow and white and we're going to make a tint of white and just put that right on the bottom swirl right there okay so in this kind of curved nice wavy pattern and just fill that out a little bit we're almost done with the painting very last thing you can add, all right, you could change it up and add some orange inside of the the, um, the, the moon and the stars. If you want to, um, you can leave it blank as well. You could just leave use some white inside if you wanted to. But mainly we're focusing today on the bottom section, all right? As you can see, the bottom we're going to fill out with that yellow line, add some yellow uh, white and orange if you wanted to and then lastly put in that grass bit we're putting the grass on the very bottom all right um and you can make this any shade of green as you want you can go a, a, a dark shade of green you should you can go a tone or you can even do a tint of green if you wanted to add some texture pieces in the bottom just by making some lines with your round brush going upwards making little strokes for like the grass and everything like that um and finally we're gonna really just work on that front area we are working on that castle bit okay so the castle is gonna be the very last thing that we focus on and that is actually gonna be next time